to those mothers whose sons are still alive. That was the dedication of my book, Cry Havoc, which was a plea to the women of this country to face the fact, not the rumor, but the fact, that the world is being galloped by its rulers at full speed towards war. Women could stop war because women are less easily fooled than men. They realize the truth of a certain declaration which I made at the Albert Hall. There is one reality which you are forgetting, but it transcends all the other realities. It is the common lot of the common soldier, the reality of pain and agony and bloody sweat. That is the reality which you should remember, and that is the point from which you should start. Since then, the dance of death has been whirling faster and faster, but with this difference, that thank God, more and more women are refusing to join in it. And I hope and pray that on the next occasion that the war drums are beating, the warmongers will find it increasingly difficult to get women to pose again as the model for that sort of thing. Now, I won't detain you any longer, but before I flicker off the screen, I'd like to make a suggestion. My suggestion is that one of the best ways to stop war would be to begin by recruiting everybody over the age of 50. For if that admirable idea were adopted, the young men would get an innings for a change, and they'd all be able to write patriotic letters to the papers, beginning with the words, Dear Sir, I have already given one great aunt to my country, and I am even prepared, in the glorious cause of victory, to sacrifice my father-in-law. It is no longer possible to think that war is unlikely to happen to us. It is a simple fact that the danger of another war is as close to us now as it was in 1913. It is being talked about and preparations are being made for it. And when you think that, think at the same time how very different the next war will be from the last. There will be no civilians in the next war. You will not be able to save either yourselves or your young children. This is not the fantasy of a novelist. It is only what, on the word of the experts who should know, will happen. Also, eminent statesmen have told you that the next war will mean the end of civilization. Think quietly for yourselves what that means. Not just the words, but the thing itself. <laughs>